With a programme like this, people are never quite sure when they, when they approach it, so uh, it's very informal, it's fun, there's lots of noise and lots of activity, and it just settles the group down. Relax. What we try to do then is go into more of a serious part of the presentation, so I actually then take them through what the step change is, where Lexis is going, where the brand is going, what our strategy is for the future, and most importantly for us is actually introducing them to what we call the spirit of Lexus, which is the ethos that Lexus stands by. When I've done that, then I can hand it back over to Mark by saying, oh, that's why you're here today. So over the next two days, we're now going to go into a programme which fits what you've just heard. And then we hand over back to Mark and then starts doing some of the intro exercise. In that particular exercise, it's probably first is, is customer service, as daft as it seems, because if they can read a, a subject and then prioritise it, we will know exactly how they're going to react within the dealer network. So we're trying to assess how do they handle pressure. But at the same time, how do they react to certain situations, which are everyday situations where a customer is concerned? Because priority does is making sure the customers are looked after. That, that's key to what we do. Seven people assessing. Throughout the day and a half, we will all assess somebody different. So the individual will have been assessed seven times by different people. That way you don't get a biased view. Because then we actually give the feedback, it's made up of seven individual observations. That fitted in well with the IMI, because the IMI think this is a very, very fair and unbiased way of assessing somebody. An important part of the role of an off self consultant is, is to be clear and communicate well with, with customers who are trying to describe components and faults. Uh, so it gives us an idea of being able to see them in that environment. We actually also, to make sure that we're covered off, use an independent solicitor who is trained in health and safety matters and product liability to make sure that we've got the right answers ourselves. Part of the feedback that will go out to um, the individuals by the team that work for me is then taking all that information and using it as a learning curve. Because we can actually go out to them and say, actually you said this, in reality you should be aware that it's this. Now that is probably the one area of all this where we would put together a proper course. There's no self-coaching on product liability, there's no self-coaching on, on, on business law. You'd have to attend one of our courses and that would then be run by somebody that's an expert in that field because you can't afford to get it wrong in this day and age. If we can sit down with the owner of that business and say person A is going to be better for your organisation if they learned a little bit more about this. We're improving efficiency, we're improving upsell, we're making Lexus a stronger brand as a result, so it's anything but a gimmick. Day 2 starts with a focus on health and safety. A key part of an after sales consultant's role is to understand those, so of a series of images, um, they look at the images and comment on whether those things are contravene health and safety or not. We then go into Highbridge, and Highbridge is it's a little bit of a fun activity where we give them an, uh, a part of the newspapers, we give them a brief and we ask them to build a bridge. Um, not only does it test their team dynamics, which is always very interesting, it's actually quite a serious message in is can they read and understand the brief? Um, and it's quite telling, that particular one, before we move on to the next. Um, we, we then move into uh, a rotation that consists of three elements. Uh, the first element is what we call a, an in-depth or a one-to-one -one interview and that really gives us the opportunity to understand each individual in depth, their beliefs, their values, how they uh, behave at work, what really drives them uh, and we get quite a lot from it. The second rotation is uh, customer skills and problem resolution and it's not role play in the true sense of the word but we take them to a scenario where into the showroom environment and they are given uh, um, a service invoice to explain to one customer and they're given an accessory invoice to explain to a second customer. What we're looking for there is their technical and accessory appreciation to see whether they actually sell the customer what they actually want. The first part is actually see whether they can actually put the invoice over to the customer and actually overcome any objection that customer has. The final element actually is in preparation for an afternoon exercise called Dragon's Den. Uh, where they get time simply to understand the brief, uh, read and understand the charity and then put together some ideas on, uh, on how to win money for that charity, which is an afternoon exercise.
As part of that session, they do use computers to complete a couple of forms, and it gives us an idea about how they feel about um, using Word and, and Excel. The output from uh, from that session is included in the afternoon session. We then go into um, another team activity, which is called Great Escape. Um, it is a little bit of fun. It's basically them dressing up uh, to be in prison, and they're put in a prison cell, um, which on the face of it can look like it's all very light-hearted and jolly, which is the way we try to create it. But the serious part of that is for them to see how do they communicate. They have to communicate to each other to try and get each other's part of a completed sentence. Uh, the test for us is to see how do they actually communicate between in-house internal customers and external customers. That's what we're trying to achieve from that. And it's again something which is a little bit of fun but has a very, very serious message in terms of key communication when you actually can't use the words that you're supposed to do. And it tests their skills in ingenuity, and it tests their communication skills in other manners apart from the verbal form. The final session of the day is uh, something we call Dragon's Den, um, and that's intended purely to show us uh, how well they're able to, to sell a concept and an idea. Um, the modern Lexus after sales consultants are required to be, to be salespeople and quite accomplished salespeople. So that gives us a chance to uh, really uh, measure or, or take an idea about how they approach uh, the job of, of, of selling. But it's something outside the industry, so uh, we see the real, the real skills. And it's really important to us to send people away on a high. And we've created a program here that is pretty unique in the sense that we get to measure their performance but they're also uh, quite competent at the end of the two days in measuring their own performance. They can tell you if they've succeeded or if they do things differently. The beauty of the programme is that it doesn't end here in the classroom. A key element of it is, is feedback, what happens afterwards. And uh, we work quite closely uh, as a set of observers to create a coherent report which is used by Steve's team mm. So every person that's come through through the programme, and there's 80 or so, 85, 85, 85 people, people, will receive personal feedback at least half a day, sometimes perhaps up to a day. What we're trying to do here is get everybody to take ownership and be proud of what they're working for. By linking this to some service level two with the IMI, we actually have a stated certificate that people can recognise as making Lexus the best. Uh, and that's, that's what